Hey, what's up, yo? What's up? Oh, let me get this just right so y'all get all my big old head on there. Right? But anyway, right? Another direct upload. Um, I was thinking about the uh podcast I put up this morning. Um fathers uh teaching their sons. Or what lessons a father should teach their son, something like that. And I don't remember stuff once I put it up, to be honest with you. Right? Once I put it up, it's over with. Unless somebody bring it up. Right? But anyway, Ray, because I was thinking about my own mentors just in life and stuff. And, you know, if you follow me on my deep thought channel, you know, my mind goes on tangents and stuff. One thing will lead to the other. So I started thinking about um, my real mentors in the game. Uh, I got to clock that one. I'm at the gym. As an aside, I be clocking when I see certain women, certain places. <laughs> Been doing that since I was little. I was like, oh, okay, they at this spot at this time. All right. Anyway, right. You know, it's, uh, I'll see about my mentors in the game, man. That's a, that, you know, that's a lot of times where I think some of the stuff I say, people don't get. Because I think one of the things is, a lot of people's concept of game comes from like these PUAs and stuff. And PUA didn't start to the late nineties. In fact, I saw somebody in the comments say, yeah, they created the game, even though brothers been had that games. <laughs> really, really, really going back. The game really go back to uh free black men. It really goes back there, but that's another discussion. Maybe even a book coming up on that. Right. But, um, I was thinking about my own mentors and some of the cats, right? And I'm going to tell you what, the one trait, like true players have, not guys who get online and say, yeah, I've been with 500 women, 300 women and shit. They don't got any, you know, it's easy. Anybody can write that, right? Anybody can write that. In fact, speaking of PUAs, I read, I happened to come across a blog and somebody said it was hanging out with a well-known PUA and this dude didn't get shit, <laughs> <laughs> this dude didn't get shit but anyway right i was thinking about the one trait they had was being discreet like you really unless you knew that guy you know how much pussy they were getting because see here's the one thing everybody always talk about female nature right but and they talk about how they do this a hey, high pergamus and stuff and this is why i say a lot of guys ain't as red pill as they thought there's one aspect of female nature people don't talk about. Their need to wear a mask. That's why I did that video and well, somebody kind of stole the subject, you know. But I said, yeah, I'll let it go. That's why I don't give all my shit out and all my shit out in public. But, you know, they got that need to look a certain way when they're in public. You know, they need to look like good girls. You know, they can't be publicly saying, oh, yeah, you know, they like to swallow or, you know. Ain't like somebody spank them or throw them up, right? So, consequently, they look for that dude who can be, who can give them that, but be discreet about it. Because even if it's a casual sexual relationship, they don't want any potential dudes out there who will potentially be husbands to know they get down like that because they know how men judge them, right? And, you know, I got to get used to looking at that little thing right there, so I'm looking directly at you, right? So, the one trait these gats will have, you really don't know how they're getting down. You really don't know how they're getting down. Their own boys might not know. You know? It's like, it's all, they, they know, they, hey, they, because, see, first of all, and this is why I question dudes who are getting the comments, say they've been with all these women and shit. First of all, who are you trying to impress? I don't know. Because the real players, you ain't going to know. In fact, you ask them, they ain't going to know. That's how quiet they got to keep shit. Because first of all, not only are you dealing with women trying to keep a certain public face, but if you fuck with enough women, some of them going to be married. Some of them going to have boyfriends. Shoot. I've been on dates before. Women used to just tell, they wouldn't even tell me at first. They tell me they have a boyfriend or something as a courtesy just to say, hey, I got a boyfriend. I say, oh, okay. Yeah, get your head back down there. You know? It's more of a courtesy just to be for full disclosure. Sometimes they might not tell you then. All right? But the thing they look for, they look for being quiet. Now, I've said before, I've worked at this gym, right? 
Uh, it was the Olympus gym. It was called the Olympus. I think it. I think it's closed now, actually. But it was called the Olympus gym. It was in uh, Marlowe Heights, Maryland. Anybody from that area? If, if you were in that area around 2005 or so, right? And that was probably the greatest collection of players. But the one thing that was frowned on on the players is anybody too obvious with their shit. Right? In fact, they used the term they used for anybody who would get up and be bragging. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. It's going to be like Eddie Murphy. I seen it, man. I'm going to seen it an accident. Anyway, right? One of the things that they frowned upon, they, they would call, like, somebody would just go out and say, yeah, I did this and that. They call that person a Monica Lewinsky. They, they really frowned upon that shit. Right? And even the biggest players in there, I never knew what they did. It'd be ironically the women talking. It'd be ironically the women talking because that's a big part of the game. Can you keep your shit quiet? Now, a woman, she don't mind people knowing she's dealing with you if it's a regular relationship. Oh, yeah, she want everybody to know. She announced that shit to the world. She, she'd take out an ad in a newspaper, magazine, whatever. She'd let everybody know. But when it's just some shit where you just coming through on some maintenance, or as uh, my man C. Boogie say, on the night shift, Shit, they want you to be quiet. And a lot of women are doing that. When I talk about the sexual underworld, it ain't just about being at some swinger parties or BDMSM. That's like just one aspect of the real underworld is just being in that place where you ain't talking. So women like that. See, they, and they'll look for that. They'll look for a certain amount of sneakiness in a dude they want to fuck. And they'll, they'll sit back. So sometimes... Like, you go to a club or some or a party and stuff. You see the guy, and he being all loud and shit. Women are shy away from him. Most women are shy away from him, right? Unless they think they can break his pockets, right? But most of them are shy away from him. But they'll look for that guy who, you know, got a nice body bill sitting in the corner discreet. Like, seriously, some of the biggest players I know were just real quiet stealth. I knew this dude. This dude. <laughs> this dude packs it. This dude could probably write a book on stealth. It was pretty much if you saw a woman with her, with him, she was getting fucked. But he just knew how to be quiet. He was quiet. He, he never bragged. I know. Got very little social media now. Because I still keep up with him. But very little. Like a Facebook page and shit. <laughs> but that dude probably, he, he got more bodies than a serial killer though. Because I knew the women. <laughs> it's like shit. I actually had some women talking about they wanted to rape him, like like more than one. <laughs> but he was quiet as shit. In fact, he stuttered. He didn't even have a mouthpiece. He stuttered. But he knew how to be quiet. Like, that's the one trait, being discreet, man. Because, you know, you get some cats on here, they want receipts and shit. But, you know, I'm like, that's some bullshit. I already know you, you're not really in the game, man. Because I, I'll talk to some women sometime, and the first question out their mouth is... If they know I'm online, it was like, uh, this ain't gonna be a subject of one of your videos, is it? I was like, shit, man. Right? You know? It's like, that's how you know. See, the problem is a lot of people, they got that surface thinking. Like, oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna let everybody know. Women don't want that shit. Because remember, I don't care what a woman does, she don't want to be seen like a hoe. In fact, uh, I'm gonna tell you how deep it is. Even those IG women got their butts hanging out and shit. All of that, they'll block somebody if somebody call them a straight hoe. <laughs> so they will block them. They don't even want to be called hoes and shit. So they don't want to be think that way. So they still want to get there. So they look for that dude who look like he can be quiet about it, right? They look for it. Now, see, right now, if I wasn't online, anything like that, shoot, women wouldn't question. But if they know I'm online, that's that the first question, right? They want to be like, um, this, you know, this ain't gonna get out, is it? And trust me, they look. <laughs> trust me. You my co-parent check out some of these videos. So, you know, that's just uh, one of the things, right? And in fact, if you actually ask a true player how I many was their body count, to be honest, they they couldn't give, they probably had to be like, I get back to you. Because one thing about it, you have, at some point, there's always a point where you just say, you know what, I'm just going to stop counting. Like, if somebody can still count or they, like, try to pretend, like, oh, yeah, I've been with hundreds of women. Like, whatever. All right? 
Because this I wouldn't know. Honestly, and I said this before in a video, I talked about this subject. I said, I'll just put you in a group of women and just sit there and watch how they respond to you. Because if you're getting a lot of pussy, it's going to be a great extent they handing it to you. Because if you're chasing a woman, that takes time and energy. If they're handing it to you, you can go to, you know, you can go to that bathroom right away and stuff. And I've had some coaching clients, uh, more than like a, about four coaching clients, I gave them some stuff. And he's like, damn, bro. <laughs> You know, you know, all I did was just tell them how to spot it. And see, like I said, that's that's the main thing. Seriously, I knew, like I knew one cat, Ray, went to school with him, man. And he said, I'd never forget what he said. I even asked him one time. He said, no, I never, never talk about any women I'm dealing with in, if I'm in that same area. Maybe like years later when I'm away from that environment, I'll say something. And this dude, and if you look at this dude, in fact, this dude was a conservative. He was a conservative dude, very clean cut. <laughs> he was getting it in. Like, that's another thing, too, man. Not only being discreet, but the real the real players are still, I, I will tell, I will argue this with them. I will go on that hangout and argue if they want to debate this, a clean cut, an innocent looking. In fact, uh, people who follow me a long time know I talk about demon levels, uh, like that male incubus or succubus or something, right? The uh, men and women who are the most uh, likely to be on that, like a real demon lover, like they will fuck your life up just because, like for something to do past the time. Always look innocent. Shoot, always, always look innocent. They, everybody be looking at that dude with the braids or, you know, looking grimy. Or got the tattoos. That's like, no. <laughs> Seriously. Biggest players, male or female, they clean cut. They just they just do their shit on the low. Seriously. <laughs> that, that, that shit has cracked me up. I never, I mean, I've had some dudes come back to me. Tell me some grimy, evil shit a woman has done to them. But you look at the woman and she look like she only had sex. In fact, the biggest... The biggest, most seductive woman I know looks like a straight nerd. You know, she look like type, get that one dorky husband and she good to go. Except she that type and she got that dorky husband. She'll fuck him. But she'll fuck his five best friends too without like a heartbeat. I actually told her one time, I said, you know, you're not familiar with the nerd word. No, are you? <laughs> I mean, her shit was so bad. It was, it was probably some clinical shit going on with her. Right? But she looked real innocent, man. But... Same time discreet. It's never who you think it is. It's that quiet person. Clean cut, whatever, but they're discreet. Like, you know, I would go do some seminars. I could pick out the players in the room. And be the person, it wouldn't be the person like talking all throughout the seminar or something and acting like they're on the shit. It would be that dude on the side, real quiet, just leaning back, ain't saying shit. Just taking in everything. Because really... A true player, it's the same way with like just a, a true hustler, a true street hustler. Like somebody on some like true criminal shit, just like ghosts. If you saw that dude anyway, you think he's a respectable businessman. And that's, you know, that's the game. Understand that shit. Because it really is when you think about it, right? One of my dear friends sent me a video this morning about this uh, pastor and shit getting shot by a side piece. But shoot, that's another example of it, man. Shit, you want to see the game, go, go holler at a minister. I remember when I first sold my book, Nice Guys and Players. Then most people saw it as, most people saw it as a, you know, just some player book, pimp book. <laughs> some of the first people bought it was at a black expo. Ministers, it was a group of ministers. They were suited and booted like a motherfucker. But in fact, if y'all don't want to ever listen to a dating coach about how to get pussy, Get real friendly with the minister and let and give him the impression. Make sure you give him. He, you got to be discreet with him because he, he got his reputation. So he ain't going to say shit to you if he think you're going to go out and blab that shit. But ask some ministers. Every time I run into a minister, I'm like, mm -hmm. and I just sit back and wait for a while. I watch how he move and shit. They probably the biggest public players in the black community. Everybody looking at some pimps or some shit. I was like, nah, fam. <laughs> nah. <laughs> 
That's why I told I never forget. I, I used the term pimps in the pool, but around an actual pimp, and the pimp was like, I saw pimps like that. I mean, that dude was bad, pissed off. I like associated a preacher with a pimp. So anyway, right? That's all I got for today. I'm going in here. You know how I do. See, I'm weird in the morning. I go, I'm stop by a store, get like a protein drink or something. Go work out, then I come back and, you know, get a few things. I don't like having a lot of stuff in my fridge. So, and plus, I'm going to let y'all go feed because one of y'all crazy people might put y'all lives in danger by trying to figure out where I live or something. And I meant what I said. Put your lives in danger. Yeah. Don't make me break out Rami, yo. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.